My name is Jerry Plemons. I'm a citizen of North Carolina American Republic. Uh, went back to court today for my third time to challenge jurisdiction of the court. Uh, the facts of the matter are that there are two states called North Carolina who have entered into the American Union. The first state was the 12th state which ratified the Constitution. The first state was set up by the free men of North Carolina which ratified the United States Constitution. The second state was created by the Reconstruction Acts which was a newly created state uh, which was not set up by the consent of the free people. I presented evidence the last time that I was in there, which was part of my evidence was the military order number 120, removing the government of North Carolina, uh, the surrender letter from Governor Jonathan Worth, as well as the presidential veto of Andrew Johnson uh, vetoing the Reconstruction Acts. Okay, now this is my third time in today. Uh, the last time that I was in, they did not let my court recorder set up to record the process that was taking place. Uh, they pushed it off again and said that the state would be ready to argue against me this time. Yeah. And uh, were they? No, they were not ready. When I got there today, um, uh, when they called my name, I uh, stood up and the judge said, well, present your argument. And I started going through stating what I just uh, had just stated about there being two states. And the judge said, well, we established that or we've assumed, we assume that we have jurisdiction. Um, the citation that you have by you driving on the roads and living in Forsyth County that gives us jurisdiction showing no evidence whatsoever to uh, prove that they have jurisdiction. Can you explain a little bit more about the different types of jurisdiction and the, and the jurisdiction that you're arguing versus what the what the judge was was saying was valid? Yes, well, there's three different types of, of jurisdiction. There's subject matter jurisdiction, persona of jurisdiction, and jurisdiction over the soil. The, over the soil is what we are challenging because through this Reconstruction Act, it deprived the freemen of North Carolina the soil to govern. So that's why we're going here challenging this because that was a violation of due process. What does the Constitution have to say about jurisdiction? And well. The Constitution says, uh, according to Article 4, Section 3, Clause 1, it says two, juris two states cannot operate within the same jurisdiction. So that's what we have now. The judge responded to this today by stating that they just assume jurisdiction because I travel on the roads that gives them jurisdiction. So he ignored the challenge over the soil, which is the, the main challenge here. Who owns the soil? Is it still the freemen of North Carolina? That ratified the Constitution or is it this newly created state? Do they own the soil? Yeah, the judge, he just ignored um, all the evidence that I had submitted and what I was stating and just continued on to proceed. They had told me to go sit back down. Uh, about an hour passed and then they said, okay, we're going to take a 15-minute break. We took a 15-minute break, came back in and sat in the courtroom for 15 more minutes. So 30 minutes had passed. Uh, they were waiting on the police officer to show up uh, to testify against uh, I guess what had taken place since they assumed they had jurisdiction without proving it and showing any evidence of that. Uh, but after we came back from the break, they called my name second and just told me to stand where I was and I stood up and they said, we're going to dismiss your case because the police officer hasn't showed up to testify. And the judge said, you're free to go. Have a good day. Uh, the prosecution did not provide any evidence or say any word whatsoever today. It was the judge saying everything today. There was no rebuttal of what was said today. I'm John Ainsworth. I'm Chief Magistrate of the North Carolina American Republic. And uh, I went with Jerry Plemons to, to court today. And Jerry did a wonderful job presenting the case. Our, our basic case is two states called North Carolina have entered the Union. And I think you know that. And we're just challenging the lawfulness of the second state that entered the American Union. The ones in operation today was put in by military force. And we feel the proper way to do this is to go into court and bring this stuff up. And I find it very disturbing. I think most people should find it very disturbing that all we're asking the court, all Jerry's asking the court, all I've asked the court, and several, I mean, Mandy and several other people have gone in there, is if you will prove you're a lawfully created state, you just prove that your jurisdiction is lawful, we'll do everything you say. And we're met every single time with the state remaining mute, the prosecution moving forward, and pretending like this isn't a, a valid argument. And anyone that looks at Reconstruction knows that you don't change, you can't call a government that's overthrown and changed by military force a government of consent and a free government. So that's really what we're trying to do is get back to what this nation was founded on and we want to bring the legal argument in that, uh, uh, that, that brings it up in, in the proper manner.